Welcome to another eye-opening hope. Today we will be looking on the topic 10 Golden Steps to Murder a Quarrel. There is no perfect relationship here on earth. After sin has intervened from the very moment Adam and Eve sin, they start the blame game. The Bible stated it like this. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Genesis 3 verse 9 to 13. So Adam blamed God, and the woman blamed the serpent. And this is the type of nature most relationships have right now. The blame game, the blame game thing. But is it possible that by misunderstanding someone and the wrong use of word in a quarrel can start a war that leads up to death, not only literal death, but also the death of your 20-year marriage or relationship. Yes, it can. But worry not, for every situation has an entrance and an exit, and for every problem, there is a solution. Golden step number one. Never pay attention to something or someone else when your spouse need your undivided attention on a matter. Golden step number two, never make hasty judgment and action even if the matter isn't fully understood. For even when the tongue is bitten by the teeth, they still live happily in the same mouth and work together in oneness that is love and compromising. So take a lesson from your tongue and your teeth and love and compromise as you go by. Golden step number three. Never put your hand on each other aggressively, only gently when you are praying, playing or continuing love. Because we cannot make love because when we were born it was already here and we all know that God is love. Just a little humor. Golden step number four. Take the time out to know your spouse. So at least you may have an idea of what he or she is capable of doing and not doing. For many spouses are not aware of each other dark side, likes and dislikes. You may be surprised to know this, but it is the truth. Golden step number five. You need not to shout to be heard because a soft answer turneth away wrath and a little humor in a time of disagreement changes setting in each other favor. Golden step number six. Never let the child or children see you both in disagreement. Keep it in your quarters and never let them be caught in the crossfire of it. Golden step number seven. Never love your spouse your wife or your husband so much that your relationship with God is put on a hold or on the back burner or started to decline. God should always be first priority because he is the igniter of the flame of love and the water to out any fire of quarrel. Golden step number eight. Never let your overnight accomplishment nor your ego of having a better paid job than he or she let you start to talk down on he or she. For if riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Psalm 62 verse 10. Also, take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and so that they come upon you unaware, Luke 21 verse 34. And to add to that, take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possessed. 
Luke 12, verse 15. For except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wake it, but in vain. Psalms 127, verse 1. So, if the Lord is not the one who build this relationship, you are laboring in vain. If the Lord is not the one who are keeping you as the watchman, you will be watching in vain. So in everything that you do, the Lord should be the center of it. Golden step number nine, make sure your reaction with each other is dealt with in a professional manner. Two wrong cannot make one right. Make compromising one of your greatest tools. Keep it real for one of the greatest things is to be loved by the person you love and that you fully understand each other. Golden step number 10. No one can really give you the love you need and deserve. If they are not in connection with the creator of love, the greatest demonstrator of love, I'm talking about everlasting love. Yes, it is the lasting love. It is only by loving God and following his example, you will be capable and equipped to love without a limit and barrier. It was once more another eye-opening hope. Thank you for watching. Remember to click on the subscribe and bell icon. Like and please share. Peace.